Okay, escalation. One of my favorite words. What is escalation? What's escalation? Taking something to another level, yeah, that's a great way of looking at it. Escalation, to me, is going through a window. I envision it very much like a window. If you have in your mind a picture of a window, there's a girl on the other side. Okay, the ugliest woman you've ever met. <laughs> but she's got big hooters, so that makes up for it. All right. So, big saggy hooters. Okay. So you got escalation. There's escalation points. <laughs> that is the ugliest moment. Okay. So what happens is, within an interaction, as it starts off, there are escalation moments where this window opens, and what she expects is that you'll go through that window. Okay. She expects you to escalate to take it to the next level. If for some reason you don't take it to the next level, she gets bored. A lot of guys make the mistake of being in an interaction and they feel like, oh, it's going well, I'll just keep doing this. Just keep going on like this. Well, the problem with that is that eventually She's looking, where is this, where is this going to go? What's going to happen here? Okay, and if you don't provide that direction, your tendency is going to be, oh, things are kind of going downhill now. I better be more interesting. I better pull out my um, Aaron's penis routine. I better do something to get her interest back. And that's a mistake. Usually what happens is you just haven't escalated. You just haven't gone through the window. I'll give you a for instance. We were doing a, a seminar, we were doing a, a workshop at a university, and one of the, we were all huddled up talking, chatting about stuff, and <coughs> there was a girl who started walking towards us who was very attractive. And one of our clients left our group unexpectedly, left our group, marched right up to her, said, hey, I gotta stop you for a second. I've noticed that like, as you walk, there's a little bit of hair here. It just bobs up and down. It's, I just want to tell you, it's very mesmerizing. It's very beautiful. Well, she looked at him like, at that point, he had her. <laughs> at that point, she was won over just by the boldness of his approach. But unfortunately, he didn't know where to take it. So he just said, well, uh, see you later. <laughs> <laughs> You've never seen a woman who's more disappointed in your, your life. She's like, uh, uh. oh, okay. Um, at that point, she was just looking for some direction. She'd, he'd won her over. She was just saying, like, what now? Where's this, gonna, where's this gonna go? Where are you gonna take me? So he could have taken her anywhere. He could have said, hey, come, come over and meet my friends. Or he could have said, let's go sit down for a second, get to know each other. Could have said anything. She, at that point, she was just looking for, where is this going? And she needed to hear it from him. Unfortunately, a lot of guys don't realize that, so they blame themselves. They think there's something wrong with them. It's just they didn't escalate. Okay. <coughs> you, could be, you could be pulling rabbits out of a hat. At a certain point, a woman is just bored. She's like, where is this going to go? All right, I think, of, I think of three major escalations. All right, the first escalation is opening. That's an escalation. That's going from not knowing each other, not interacting, to suddenly interacting. It's an escalation. The second escalation is creating a personal vibe. And the third escalation is making it sexual. Now, obviously, you have to open. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. What we find is that after a guy opens, <coughs> he's, he's in the interaction. He's talking to her. 
Maybe he's at a bookstore. Let's say he's at a bookstore, one of my favorite places. He's at a bookstore, and he starts off the interaction. He says, hey, what's a good book you could recommend? And she says, uh, Harry Potter. He says, oh, I've never heard about that. What's that about? And then she starts telling him. They'll talk about Harry Potter. What? And then he's at a loss <laughs> for where to go next. So what does he do? He maybe talks about books some more. Maybe he segues into movies or music. <laughs> but in about five or six minutes, they're both standing there. And she's wondering, this is really strange. Where's this going? And his, in his head, he's, he's thinking, she's probably thinking, this is strange. Where's this going? <laughs> and she usually is. At that point, it can just be really awkward because it's just awkward to sit and talk to a stranger about books or about anything, about anything. People just don't do that. People only have long, naturally, people only have long conversations of any length, of any seriousness, when it's personal, when it's about you and it's about her. If it's not about you and about her, people get bored really quickly. A guy will say, like, how, he'll say, he'll ask me, okay, I'm opening, I'm talking to her, how long do I go on talking about that before I make a personal vibe? I say, well, you know, she, she'll, she's interested in stuff. She's interested in talking about things for about 45 seconds. And that's the truth of it. If you don't have some kind of personal interaction quickly, then she'll get bored and she'll leave. If not, you better be really entertaining, really interesting. And guys who do indirect games or promote that thing, that's what they have to work at. That's their burden in life. I don't want to be that interesting. I'm not personally that interesting. <laughs> Okay, I can't hold a person's conversation, a person's attention and talk to them for 20 minutes without giving anything back. It's not enjoyable for me, I just can't do it. I want to have an interaction, I want to have a two-way conversation. But I know the only way to achieve that is to put in a personal vibe. <coughs> so after I open, I look, as she's talking to me, I look for reasons to make it personal. I look for, for ways the transition to that personal vibe. What do I look for? I look for something that she says, that she does, to justify being personally interested. Okay, and then later it's the same thing with the sexual vibe. Many guys make the mistake of never showing interest in a woman. Okay, I have a client who's, who's an actor, who's a comedian, he's quite successful. Um, funniest guy in the world. He goes out with women, makes them laugh. He's got amazing stories. He's been on television, performed with Robin Williams, done all these great things. But his problem and his burden was that every time he'd want to show interest in her, and he has to show interest eventually. I mean, if you're talking for a woman, to a woman for 20, 30 minutes, you're showing interest. Okay? So he would eventually show interest. It'd leak out. And she'd say, she'd say in her mind, wow, he's a cool guy, but why is he interested in me? I've done nothing to deserve it. And that's when your value plummets. <laughs> when you show interest in her, when she hasn't done anything to deserve it, when she feels like she hasn't made any effort. That's when she says, oh, I thought he was a high value guy, but he's not. Value is only ascribed to somebody when we do something to earn it. It's like free money. If, somebody, if they just gave you your paycheck every week, you'd probably not feel like you you wouldn't value it as much as if you actually have to earn it, have to work for it, okay? <coughs> so how do you escalate? That's the question. Well, you escalate on a high point. All right, so what does that mean? Let's see, I'm gonna ask, what does a high point mean? Exactly, that's it. You're amazing. <laughs> if I, I would give you a reward, I'd, you know, a little, a little something, a little pen or something. Have a pen. There you go. <laughs> Have a pen from San Francisco. 
Okay, uh, that's exactly it. A lot of guys here are confused. They think like, okay, the interaction has ups and downs. <coughs> and they think like, okay, I create the ups and downs. This is like my heartbeat. Like, this is you, I should say. This is you, right? And this is her. And throughout your interaction, you have high points and low points. Where you're both being interesting and, or boring or just listening or whatever. Well, a lot of guys may just think, oh, I got a high point. I just told a funny joke. She laughed a lot. I'm going to escalate. That means she's into me. But that violates a principle. The principle is that you don't have to show value. If you're trying to show value, then you have no value. Guys who have value don't have to show value. They actively show that they're not showing value, which may be trying to show value in a weird way, but it's usually sneaky enough they don't know it. Right? Starting to play mind games with ourselves, but that's how it is. So you don't want to show interest on your high point. That would be that makes no sense. You want to show interest on her high point. Okay. So how do you escalate? You get her to do something, to make an effort, to be interesting, to tell you something substantial, to act out, tell you her story about how she, you know, got a scar on her knee when she was a kid or tells you, recites her poem that she made up. Or just, and you guys may think this is crazy, but sometimes a woman will tell me I'm a stupid motherfucker, but she'll do it in a creative, cool way, and I have to reward her. I have to escalate out that. I actually appreciate it because that's an effort. That's still an effort, and that's the most important thing. So she makes an effort, and then after she makes the effort, you say, I like that. You actually appreciate that. Okay. She makes the effort. Let's detail. Effort. Her effort. Then you reward her by saying, I like that. And then you escalate. Hey, I really like the way you said that. Let's sit down over this couch. You can tell me some more stuff. So if I meet a woman in a bookstore and she tells me about, I say, what's a good book you could recommend? She says, I read Memoirs of a Geish. And I say, oh, that sounds interesting. What was that about? And she starts telling me about it. She tells me she read the book, she saw the movie, and she's comparing the two. I'll find something within that to justify then going to a personal level. So I'll say, wow, I really like the way they explain it. What's your name? Sarah. Nice to meet you, Sarah. I'm Wayne. I'll be your host for this evening. Does that make sense? Oh, we've got a question here. The rule of thumb is, if she makes the effort, she gets the reward. So reward, the effort, reward the effort. Yep. You don't care. Exactly. She said, "Yeah." She says, "Exactly." Yeah. I've never slept with a bank robber. That's going to be really interesting. Yeah. You probably got duct tape, blindfolds. You probably got everything. No. No, it's not. Okay, next question. Um, <laughs> no hard questions, okay? Um, I don't feel this supplication, okay? I feel if she makes an effort, she gets reward. Um, in general, you've got to get out of the mindset that you are trying to get some sort of approval out of her. And the problem that most guys have is that they come up and they start an interaction and they want a certain type of response, okay? And then if they don't get that, they feel like they've got to punish that somehow. Okay, unfortunately, when a guy comes up and he wants a certain kind of response, if he doesn't get it, he reacts negatively, right? He's like he's punched in the nose, you know? His head goes, flashes back and he's, he's been hit. We want to really show that we're okay with whatever response we get because if you think about it, in the whole scheme of things, we don't care, right? We're not trying to get approval from anyone, all right? 
<coughs> if a woman tells me a fucker, I'm a fucker, she does it in a creative way. I'm like, hey, I really like the way you called me a fucker. That's cool. Let me try you. I'm going to call you a motherfucker in some interesting way. In my Irish accent, ridiculous Irish accent. All right. I show I'm okay with her lack of approval. And in the end, that's more powerful than worrying about whether you're supplicating or not. Okay, so. Okay, she makes an effort. You tell her you like her effort, and then you escalate. So in her mind, she's like, okay, the reason he's going to, wants to go to this next level is something that I've done, an effort that I've made. And that's escalation. 